Hi everyone and welcome to makingmusic.com show and tell uh, and I'd like to say hello to my little friend the Arturia Minilab Mark II keyboard controller um, and this video is just to show you a few of the things that it can do. So what we've got here is a fairly standard kind of layout for a mini controller keyboard. Uh, two octaves of piano style keys, obviously not full size keys, so you have to be a bit careful where you put your hands, but they're quite nice and springy, not too synth like, uh, probably due to the way that they're profiled here, um, but for bass lines, chords, perfectly usable uh, for this context. Eight drum pads arranged uh, so that you can access two banks, so you can actually go up to 16, and 16 endless rotary controller knobs uh, for changing software parameters. Two touch sensitive strips, uh, one for pitch control, the other for modulation instead of wheel. Obviously it makes it a little bit easier to manufacture, keeps the low profile as well. Um, shift control to change some of the parameters button to change the pads from uh, banks 1 to 8 to 9 to 16 and then octave up and down so that you can use full range of notes. Okay so we're going to plug it in, nice light up sequence and then it goes dark you can expect it to be ready. Also what I'm going to put in here is a sustain pedal which is the M Audio SP2. Um, it's the only other thing that you can connect to the Mini Lab Mark II, but it's probably all you're going to need if you're working with this kind of controller synth. Um, and then we start looking at the software and how it interacts. Okay, so when you open the software, you are looking at the shop window basically for analog lab light uh, where you can test out. Listen to a couple of different synths. My particular favourite is the SEM. These are all um, cut down versions um, of instruments that you'll find in Arturia's V collection, a uh, very usable uh, modelled synthesizer collection. Uh, and already you can see here where the controllers are already pre mapped to uh, parameters within the software. Um, just dive straight in, have a listen to what's going on. Like I said, most of the parameters are pre-mapped, but as we get further into the software, you can set up some of your own mappings. Uh, now, I like this as, as kind of kid in a sweet shop kind of thing. Gets you started, but the real uh, integration happens when you switch over to the main browser. Um, set out in three different sections. On the left-hand side, you've got search parameters, and uh, you, you can choose various elements of the sounds you want. In the middle you've got the results or just the list of presets included and then on the right hand side you've just got a bit more uh, information about the preset that you are using. Um, now one of the easiest things you can do if you just want to step through or whiz through some of these parameters, uh, some of these presets, um, you can use the mouse if you want to, that's perfectly acceptable, it will change as you want but what is quite good about the integration is these two controls here on the left hand side now these are the controls that also have a switch attached so if you press them down it acts as a select and with uh, controller one you can spin up and down through the list of presets press the button and you've chosen your preset then you can go on to adapt the preset as you want. And then you want to move on, again spin the uh, controller again 
Let's have a listen to the Art 4. Um, controller 9, however, uh, if you look at the left hand side of the screen here, this is where you can sort out presets and f uh, set up filters um, if you are looking for something specific. So let's uh, have a look. Oh, let's go for something that is aggressive. Again, it's the switch. Move the controller until you highlight the word that you'd like to filter down on. So let's find an aggressive lead uh, on the profit. And you can see now in the results section that what you're left with is the presets that um, match your search criteria. Use controller one again. I think we can agree that sounds quite aggressive. And then set about the sound with the controllers. Another nice feature of Analog Lab Lite is the ability to layer different presets. Um, Arturia have set some up already. If you go to Multi under Instruments, there's a list of their multis. And um, we're going to listen to uh, a piano layered with a synclavier. Um, the drum pads, however, in this uh, setup become switches for um, different menus within the layer. Um, if you switch them onto uh, pad 9 to 16, pad 9 becomes access to the parameters for part 1, which in this case is the piano. Pad 10 becomes the access to part 2, which is the synclavia, and then pad 11 gives access to some kind of master controllers, panning, volume, that kind of thing. So if we wanted to change something within part 2, we'd hit pad 2, uh, and then use the controllers to change whatever parameters we wanted to on the uh, second layer. Um, good for experimentation and also what you can do is make up your own multis so um, you can just drag and drop presets from various synth emulations into the multi-layers here. So let's have an arcane organ from a CS80. Good thing about this is that you, sometimes you have no idea what you're going to get. So that's a CS80 mixed with a profit. Again, change or adapt any of the parameters by dropping into the uh, layer menu. Okay, and finally for this video, we're just going to have a look at how easy it is to map some of these controls um, within Logic Pro 10. Um, and what we're going to do is map the sustain pedal that I've got in, we're going to map that to the rotor control for the speed, and also one of the uh, rotary controllers to the amount of distortion drive that we have going through the organ. Uh, so first of all, let's map our sustain pedal. So you can go see you can, the uh, switch is moving with the sustain pedal and then the dis distortion drive that's mapped back to this controller here. As they just send out standard CC MIDI messages, it's fairly easy to get 
controller assignments into software. And as they're CC messages, these will be recorded when you're recording your performance and then played back and the parameters will change as you want them to. And so there we have the Arturia Minilab Mark II controller keyboard. Thanks for watching. See you next time.